It was Boris Johnson's vision for a pedestrian crossing linking both sides of the Thames at South Bank and Temple, a so-called garden bridge filled with trees and plants. But the project hasn't been without controversy. So far, £40 million of taxpayers' money has been spent before construction work has even begun. Now the Mayor, Sadiq Khan, has ordered a review into whether the garden bridge offers Londoners value for money, as our political correspondent Carl Mercer now reports. Maybe it's a day for looking wistfully out across the Thames and wondering what might, or perhaps what might not, be. Today we learned that this woman, Margaret Hodge, is to conduct a review into the planned garden bridge. She's an MP with a fearsome reputation for doing this sort of thing. You have a reputation as a Rottweiler. Are you still one? I like to look for the truth. What I always said to people, I'm not a Rottweiler. If people actually approach me in a way where they are straight, direct, don't try to obfuscate, uh, don't try and be economical of the truth, I think they get a fair time. Mrs Hodge says her inquiry could take six months. Another of our river watchers has some hints as to where she should look. Well, I think it's about the early days of this project, where it came from, what players were involved and what uh, role lobbying played. I think there's a very strong whiff of cronyism around this project. Putting bridges across the Thames, even those with trees on, is nothing new. A collection of gardens from tropical gardens, hedge gardens... He's not talking about the current garden bridge, but an earlier plan for one in the same place back in 1996, when TV graphics looked like this. The new bridge will span the Thames from the Temple Tube station on the north bank to the London Television Centre on the south. Three years later, Joanna Lumley backed first bridge closer to Westminster than the one she now wants. Now, Joanna Lumley, the star of hit comedy Absolutely Fabulous, is campaigning for a £19 million bridge across the Thames. Neither of those two bridges got built and campaigners against the current garden bridge say the review announced today could spell the end for the current plan. The garden bridge is a running scandal and uh, Margaret Hodge has got to find out how they spent £42 million without putting a spade in the ground. How has this project been prioritised over all the bridges that needed to be elsewhere in, in, across London? All the money is going to be in place. Why isn't it there now? Because this hiatus that has been caused when we're just finishing all the planning consents, we've got one major consent from Coin Street, who are the only people who haven't signed yet. Um, uh, when we have that, and we hope we will get that next week, then we go ahead and then we can make public the donors, who at the moment are anonymous. She remains hopeful. Her opponents too have had their hopes raised today. Carl Mercer, BBC London News.